I was literally looking at being homeless. I have been in foster care. I first reached out to Housing Human Services um, after a domestic violence situation and needed some help. My son has type 1 diabetes and sometimes it was, uh, he would get sick. I did not know what I was going to do. I was living from place to place. I was living in shelters. I was behind on child support. I was nervous and anxious and scared. And I don't want to live this vicious cycle like my biological mom. I was literally at the end of my rope. One of my biggest goals is to get off assistance. And to feel safe, to feel in control. And to be able to have him back in my life more. To con continue my education and be an example for my children. <laughs> I'm sober now, uh, over 150 days clean, so that's my biggest goal. I want to graduate from school and then I want to focus on buying a home. And I think there is never a final goal from what I've learned in these three years. Knowing that being 35 and being a father is very important. We need things for real people. I have worked my tail off to get to where I am. I'm glad I have the round of people I can count on because that takes a lot of weight off my shoulders. Going through this program also has made me want to help other people because a lot of people don't know about certain things that are out here and are struggling just as much as I am. but just don't know how to start it. And I want my kids to grow old and like their home and paint their room different crazy colors. I think I'm more focused on being able to see what's ahead. And I do need assistance and I am still trying to work towards not needing it and moving forward. It's just a helping stepping stone to get to where I need to be. A lot of help out there if you can, you know, manage your time right and focus on it. And do what's you know, expected of you. and Everything that's offered to you, like try to utilize it in the best way you can to help you move forward. Because um, it's there for a reason. <laughs> and it does get better. I don't know how I would be able to help my son with his help if I didn't have that insurance. Because I honestly don't know where I would be at right now if I didn't have food assistance, if I didn't have health insurance, if I didn't have FSS. Um, I don't think I'd be able to do it. And now we have a two-bedroom apartment here, and it's pet-friendly, and it's even air-conditioned. What? How, how much better does it get? I realized that once I started looking at even the little things that were good in my life, like my son's smile, or the fact that he was healthy, or the sun was shining, um, just my whole world started to turn around.